प्रेम से बुलबा के वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय 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 सीताराम सबको नमस्ते सत श्री अकाल जय गुरु दत्ता ओम साई राम अ वेरी प्रेजेंट वेलकम टू ईच एंड एवरीवन दिस इवनिंग लेट अस क्लास्प आवर हैंड्स बाउ आवर हेड्स जेंटली क्लोज आवर आईज ड्रॉप आवर शोल्डर्स एंड रिलैक्स दिस इवनिंग द मूड हैज बीन सेट बाय ब्यूटीफुल कीर्तन ब्यूटीफुल भजन्स फर्स्ट टू बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल इवनिंग ऑफ डिवोशन this satsang memorial service for dear late didi who we learn about more about in along in the katha this evening let us give praise and thanks firstly to bhagwan bhagwan shri ganesha prathama pooje vinayaka ve ganeshwara as we seek his blessings we ask the remove of all obstacles to come in to enlighten us to lighten the load that we all carry of this mundane world we seek the blessings now of prathama pooja bhagwan shri ganesha let us pray we breathe in we say so as we exhale we say hum hari yo श्री गणेशाय नम श्री सरस्वत नम श्रीगुरुचरणकमे नमो नम गुरूर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरूर साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवे नम वि ग्लोरिफाइड अ डिवाइन मदर शक्ति देवी माँ भवानी शंकर माँ सर्वंगल मंगल्ये शिवे सर्वाठ साधिके शरण्य त्रंबके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते इन दिस मंथ ऑफ श्रावण वी कॉल अपॉन भोलेनाथ हु सिट्स अपॉन माउंट कैलाश द रिमूव एंड डिस्ट्रॉय ऑफ ऑल दैट इज नेगेटिव जय भोलेनाथ नागेन्द्रहाराय त्रिलोचनाय भस्मंगरागाय महे नित्याय सुधाय दिगंबराय तस्म नकराय नम शिवाय पवन पुत्र हनुमान जी महावीर स्वामी अतुलित बल धाम हेम शैलाबदेह धनुजवन कृषाणु ज्ञाग्रगण्यम सकल गुण निधान वानराधीश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त बात जात नमा बाकी बिंद्रावन बिहारीला मोहन मुरलिया घनश्याम वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचानूर्मर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु यदा यदा हि धर्म से ग्लार्भवती भारत अभ्युत्थानमस धर्म से तदात्मा सृजाम्यहम परित्राणाय साधून विनाशा च दुष्कृत धर्म संस्थाथाय संभवा युगे युगे हरिओ 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 
Radio. We turn to the very first look of Sri Ramcharitamanas Balkan. This beautiful prayer composed by Goswami Tulsi Rasji entitled Mangal Ashtakam. It glorifies Vinayaka, Bhagwan Sri Ganesha, Mother Vani, the goddess of speech, Mother Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, and of course, the sage Valmiki, the original author of Ramayana. Goswami Tulsi Rasji ne kaha. Varnanam Artha Sandhana Rasanam Chandasam Api Mangalanam Chakkartaru Vande Vani Vinayako Bhavani Shankaru Vande वंदे गुरु शंकर सर्वत वन्नते सीता राम गुण ग्राम पुन्या आरण्य व्रिवा व्रिनाओ वन्दे विशुद्ध विज्ञानो कविश्वर कपीश्वराओ प्रिंस से बोलो भगवान राम चंद्र की जय My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this evening, we glorify Bhagwan Sri Ganesha once more. The bhajan says, Glory to the leader of the Ganas, the one who destroys all of our, all the obstacles, to the bestow of good fortune on those, the one who grants intelligence, Mata Parvati's darling son, and the son of Bhagwan Shiva. Shuklam Bharadharam Vishnu. Shashi Varanam Chatur Bhujam Prasanna Vadanam Dhyaye Sarva Vighnu Upshantaye Agjanan Parmarkam Gajananam Arnisham Anek Dantam Bhaktana Ek Dantam Upas Mahe Sing it for us. Jai 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 Gananayaka Jai Jai Vigna Vinashaka Bolo! Jai 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 Gan Nayaka Jai Jai Vigan Vinashaka Bolo Vidyabhudhi Pradayaka Jai Shubha Mangal Dayaka Vidyabhudhi Pradayaka Gajvadana Gauri Nandan Gajvadana Gauri Nandan Gajvadana Shiva Shambhu Nandan 
शुभ मंगल दायका विद्या बुद्धि प्रदायका विद्या बुद्धि प्रदायका गजवदना गौरी नंदन गजवदना गौरी नंदन गजवदना गौरी नंदन brothers and sisters let us all sit upright for a few minutes again and this time we will chant three times one of the most powerful mantras given to mankind the gayatri mantra in order to reap the benefits of this powerful mantra we must sit with our backs upright channel that energy up the spine shushumna nadi as it's called very powerful and as you gently close your eyes take a deep breath om bhur bhuva swaha tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dhiyo yo nah prachodayat om bhur bhuva swaha tat savitur varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi दियो यो नाह प्रचोदयात ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सवितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवस्याधीम धियो यो नाह प्रचोदयात प्रेम से बोलो गायत्री माता महारानी की जय another beautiful mantra that we chant it's a mantra for mukti or liberation om namo bhagavate vasudevaya it is called the dwadaksharya mantra meaning the 12 syllable mantra dedicated to bhagwan shri vishnu and bhagwan shri krishna it has two traditions one tantric and the other puranic In the tantric tradition the rishi of the mantra is prajapati and in the puranic tantra tradition the rishi is narad muni both however say it is the supreme vishnu who mantra in the sharda tilak tantram it says dwadas harno maha mantra pradhano vaishnavagame the 12 letter mantra is called the chief amongst the vaishnava mantras and regular repetition of this mantra is said to free the practitioner from the cycle of rebirth namo is the name of the supreme bhagavate is the individual in the process of becoming divine and vasudevaya is the indweller the divine substance the know of all and the connection of the soul to the three qualities of existence sat the truth chitta spiritual mind and ananda bliss this mantra brings peaceful and spiritual joy to the practitioner let us blend our voices as we sing and feel the energy feel the positive vibrations emanating from this dwadaksharya mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya hari om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya भगवते वासुदेव ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वास 
South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, we'll hear lots of beautiful bhajans. We've given praise and thanks to Bhagwan Sri Ganesha, Bhagwan Sri Krishna. Now let us go before the feet of the Guru. In our lives, our first Gurus, of course, Mother and Father, Matru Deva Bhava, Pitru Deva Bhava. In my life personally, many gurus, my parents, of course, firstly, my late guru, Sri Pandit Rampasat Tiwari Ji, and most recently, Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba. We call upon that guru, a guru of Prashanti. Anelya Priyatam Devo Bhagwan Janaki Pati Shri Ram Chandra Purvesha Asmanekam Kurumevatam Prashanti Sai Prashanti Baba Prashanti Baba Prashanti Sai Prashanti
साई बाबा जी की जय श्री गुरु महाराज की जय माला जी की भजन जी राधा ढूंढ रही किसी ने मेरे शाम देखा राधा ढूंढ रही I got it. 
This evening's celebration of life for the late Leela Ramnanan. Sunrise July 18, 1957 to sunset March 18, 2022. Our heartfelt condolences to the entire Bree family. Our continued prayers for the benefit of the departed soul as we all come now to a state of closure on her passing just not too long ago. Tonight, devotees, we shall collectively attempt to fill the voids left by her departure by chanting beautiful kirtans, bhajans, as we have been doing so far, and maybe some appropriate Bollywood songs by the request of the family, and certainly some inspirational words of wisdom. But before we do so, let us invoke the Shakti of Bhagwan Shri Krishna into this home, into our lives, into the, the hearts of the very families. We sit upright, gently bow our heads again and close our eyes. And as we breathe in, I want you to focus on the feet of Bhagwan Shri Krishna. As you inhale once more, gently hold on to his feet. Take those feet now and place it into the center of your forehead. Also, give him a comfortable seat in your hearts. Baki Bindravan Bihari Lal Ki Jai. O Bhagwan Shri Krishna, the Bhajan tells us, O the protector of the meek and suffering, you are the doer and you are the cause of all. You are the utmost benefactor in the battlefield. You were the chariot and you gave the knowledge of reaching God and action as Karam Yoga. You assisted us in understanding the miseries and joy of this body and explained to us the everlasting, unconquerable, infinite nature of your soul, our soul. You are the eternal companion and the chariot to those who seek your protection. Saint Mira became united with her Lord, for she knew the infinite treasure of nectar to all those who seek Him. Let us blend our voices as we sing this beautiful bhajan, glorifying Bhagwan Sri Krishna. E Krishna Gopal Hari. हे दीन दयाल हरि हे कृष्ण गोपाल हरि हे दीन दयाल हरि तुम करता तुम ही कारण तुम करता तुम कृपाल हरि हे दीन दयाल हरि बोलो हे कृष्ण गोपाल हरि हे दीन दयाल हरि के रन भूमि में और कर्म योग में मरम बताए अजर अमर है कर्म तात्पयू काया की दुख सुख समझाए सखा सारती शरणागत की सखा सारती 
Glorify Mahavir Swami Pavanaputta Hanumanji by this powerful recitation of the 40 gl glorious verses of Shri Hanuman Chalisa. I want you to feel the energy. Whatever pains, whatever troubles, whatever suffering you're going through in life, whatever physical, mental, or 
any sort of pain, place it to the feet of Mahavir Swami this evening. Sri Guru Charana Saroj Raja Nijmana Mukuru Sudhari Barna Raghubar Bimala Jasu Jodayaku Palachari Buddhi Natanu Jani Ke Sumira Pavan Kumar Bal Buddhi Vidya Dehu Mohi Har Hukalesh Vikar राम लक्ष्मण जान की जय बोलो हनुमान की राम लक्ष्मण जान की जय बोलो हनुमान बोलो राम लक्ष्मण जान की जय बोलो हनुमान की राम लक्ष्मण जान की जय बोलो हनुमान की राम लक्ष्मण जान की जय बोलो हनुमान की राम लक्ष्मण जान की जय बोलो सागर जय कपी सुति लोक उजागर राम दूत अतुलित बल राम अंजनी पुत्र पवन सुत नाम महावीर दिख रंग बजरंगी कुमत निवार सुमत के संगी कंचन वरण विराज सुवेश कानन कुंडल कुंचित केश हाथ बच्चे और ध्वजा विराज आने मोज जने साज शंकर सुवर के सरी नंद तेज प्रताप महाजगबंद यावान गुणी यक चातु राम काज करी में को आत प्रभु चरित सुनि राम लखन सीता मन बस्य सूक्ष्म रूप धर सिया दिखाव एक तरूप धरि लंक जराव हे मरूप धरि सुरस्थारी राम चंद्र के काज सवारे साय सजीवन लखन जियाए से रघुवीर हर शिव लाए रघुपति की भी बहुत बराए तुम मम प्रिय भर तई सम भाई सहस बदन तुमरो यस गावे हस कै श्री पटि कंठ लगावे सन कादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनीश नारद शारद सहित हे सम कुबेर टिक पाल जहां
Jai. Jai. Jai, 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 Bajarang Bali. My dear mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, uncles and aunts, nieces, nephews, friends, members of the bereaved family, Suzanne Didi and your entire family. This evening, as we have gathered in this beautiful, warm, very friendly home, to share in satsang, let me first of all welcome all of you coming from near and far and those of you joining us remotely all over the world this evening via the World Wide Web broadcasted. We ask you to all join and share in this beautiful evening of devotion. If you haven't done so already, please share the broadcast. Invite your friends and relatives to join with us. You know, Swami Vivekananda once said, death is but a change. Death is simply a change of condition. We remain in the same universe and are subject to the same laws as before. And those who have passed, those who have gone to the beyond and have attained high planes of development in beauty and wisdom, but they are just an advanced guard for us, a universal army that we are simply going to follow them very shortly. Death, of course, is simply then a change. Srimati Leela Ramnanan, born on July 18, 1957, to the parents of Shairun and Lachman, from Mount Pleasant Road, Kunupia in Trinidad, where she spent her entire childhood and her early adult life. She then got married to Angad, and they had two beautiful children, Lakshmi and Krishnan Ramnanan. Are the kids here this evening? There. Yes. In the mid 80s, Leela Ji migrated to the United States, Florida to be exact, with her family, where she lived and spent the rest of her life. Her daughter Lakshmi gave birth to twins, and subsequently, Krishna had two children of his own. Leela was a proud grandmother of her four grandchildren, whom she loved dearly. She worked as a home health aide up until she passed away on March 18, 2022. Leela was known for her sweet hand in the kitchen, especially when roti and any kind of Indian food or delicacies were involved. She was an excellent cook, always kind-hearted and willing to help in any way she can. And Leela was survived by her ex-husband Angad, her two children, her four grandchildren and her siblings Boyo, Blacko, Chaili, Chilo, both deceased, Tony, Tara, and of course, Suzanne Didi. We pray so that this beautiful soul will find its union back home at Bhagwan. Bhagwan Sri Satchi Sai Baba tells us death is but a, a passage from this life to the next. All to the new, changing of the clothes, the Gita states. Death is not de a deplorable event. It is just a journey's end. We have come to this end of this journey. And it's like the owner getting out of the car when the time and the goal has been reached. In this next bhajan, as we begin Katha, their love and affection for him is beyond bounds. He has endeared himself with all in the community, a friend to the young and the beautiful member of the family, the flute charmer, Baki bin Raban Biharilal, and the splendor of the cowherds, yet today he leaves from Mathura, breaking all hearts. Uncontrollably they weep, the whole of the Yamuna and the Madhuban, the tears flow copiously. For his separation they cannot bear. Listen, let it be known today, our beloved Ghansham leaves for Gokula. Like helpless birds imprisoned in a cage of separation, they cry, Please, O Kanha, please don't go. We beg you, please return. Our hungry eyes crave for your presence. In floods they cry and Bhagwan Shri Krishna himself becomes emotional as he weeps in sorrow. The love of his life, Radha Rani, weeps in torrents and she pines expressing her pangs of separation. She says, O oh my Sham, without you, how will I survive? How will I survive? Maya ke mamta taji taj baba ka pyar gwal bal ki 
मित्रता गोपियन की मन तज के सब परिवार को तज मुरली की तान अपनों से मुख मोर के मथुरा चले सुना सुना लागे भीरज का धाम गोकुल को छोड़ चले रे घन शाम सुना सुना लागे भीरज का धाम गोकुल को छोड़ चले रे घन जमुना रोए मधुबन रोए रोए कदम की छैया ओ रोए कदम की छैया भर भर नैना रोए रे गवाले भर भर नैना रोए रे गवाले रोए के ना घड़ के पंछी असुअन से भर नैना असुअन से भर नैनन में पानी ओ प्रेम दीवानी राधा रानी भर नैनन में पानी सुब किस पत कह साथी जीवन की अब शाम रे सुना सुना लगे मेरज का नाम गोकुल को छोड़ चले रे घन शाम सुना सुना
The lyrics of that beautiful bhajan, not sona, eh? sona means gold. Suna, listen, listen. Suna, suna lage. Listen, O Bhagwan Shri Krishna. When will you return? Similarly, as this soul has left our dear Didi, we are saying, travel safely. And tonight we will learn what transpires after death. What happens to that soul? Per your request, Susan Didi. Our scriptures teaches us, devotees. Why do we give salutations? Why do we give adorations and prostrations to all those who have gone to the beyond when someone dies? You know, in this day and age, because of circumstances, because of convenience, Many families choose not to perform shrad. What is shrad? The final rites when someone, is, when someone passes. We as Sanatanis always offer adorations to all those who are visible before our eyes. You see a brother or sister, we hug. We see a, a pundit, a spiritualist, we bow to their feet. We seek their blessings. Why don't we also give adorations to those souls who have departed? Understandably, even as a pundit in this day and age, many families, many funerals, and by the way, during, during the pandemic, I was telling someone the other day, I performed more funerals than puja. Unbelievable. So many deaths close to home to my mamu was one of them, the very first one to go. Because of convenience, because families are split, they live in different countries, it requires at least 13 days when you, can, when you count the... the even a little bit more, because based on funeral timings, cremations, burials, these days we do more cremations, very few burials. But it all takes time, it adds up. Sometimes it can go for three weeks. Those of us who live here in the, in the United States, perhaps those of you joining us online as well, you'll understand that in most, in most operations, most companies, people have only two weeks vacation at a time you can take, because then it disrupts the, the business operations. This is why, in some cases, a son may not be present, to perform the final rites. Sometimes not even a member of the family, a close member of the family is there to perform final rites. Today we offer our, our adoration to all those who are not visible to these physical eyes, but who lived on this earthly plane and who have now experienced a different state of consciousness. We offer our gratitude to all those who have gone before us and now to show us the path. By remembrance of all of these souls, we mean the remembrance of everything that has been created. It does not necessarily mean those who exist in a preta or spirit, a spirit, a soul that is, condition in the astral body, but those who have abandoned this physical body and have taken up another body now to receive our prayers. In the Puranas and in the Athara Veda, there are 14 worlds, seven higher ones, they are called Vyatris, and seven lower ones, they are called Patals. Bhu, Bhuvas, Swar, Mahas, Janas, Tapas, and Satya above and below Atal, Vital, Sutal, Rasatal, Talatal, Mahatal, Patal, and Narak. What tal are you, boy? <laughs> we have tal with us this evening. Sital. Those who exist in Swargalog receive our prayers. And those who live in Gandharvalog. And all those who experience pain and suffering will also receive our prayers. Our prayers will reach up to Brahmalok and the Surya Mandala because our prayers are the ex expressions of our consciousness. You know, devotees, there are various kinds of human beings. Similarly, there are various kinds of departed souls. We must know that in the universe, this universe is an organic whole, it's one, it is not dead matter. As a matter of fact, just recently, NASA went into deep, deep outer space and took some amazing pictures as to what is and what exists out there. Very, very interesting. One of them actually looks like the face of Bhagwan Shiva. This universe, this cosmos is vibrating with energy. It's full of life, consciousness. And the universe is one whole. If anything happens to any part of my body, 
the whole body will feel it. Not so? If you get burned, your whole body be feels that, 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 that uh, pain. So is the case with everything in this universe. Every atom is connected to each other in this universe. Now, let us look at Shrad. Let us examine this thing called Shrad. When we offer food stuff and other articles which are used in the name of the departed soul, in our minds we are thinking, you know, the departed soul should come and eat this food. Not so when we, when we, when we perform the Bandara, most, most times you hear, well, Pandit, I prepared, you know, my husband's favorite dishes or my wife's favorite dishes, and I'm going to place it here. So you cook all this food, place it there, but he's going to come and eat it. No, the soul don't come and eat it. No. They vote, if, if you know of any soul coming to eat, let me know. I wouldn't be there. In this world of materialism, people who have no belief in the higher values, they doubt this validity of this act. In other words, some people might question, how does this physical act of offering food in this world would reach to that preta or this, the spirit or the soul? Take for example, let me explain. When you transfer or you go to wire money, you're going to send money to another country, to a family or to a friend. When you go to, let's say you go to Publix and you go to Western Union, you fill out the form, you hand, hand over the money. That group of 20, let's say you, it's $100, $100 bill. Is that $100 bill going to transfer over the wire to your friend, let's say, in Trinidad or Guyana? No, it doesn't. It's an electronic transaction that goes across the wire. The bill stays in the U.S. The person in Trinidad gets electronically. Similarly, when we offer this food, if you think of it like that, electric transfer, physically it is here. But through the prayers and through the blessings and through your love, it will transfer to that departed soul, wherever that soul may be. That soul becomes the recipient. Devotees, only the feeling, our emotions, our understanding is conveyed now. And that is what works wonders. Any act of prayer with bhava, you know what bhava? Bhava is the fe deep feelings, truth, purity. When you sing a bhajan, you sing with bhava. Any act of, any offering with bhava, loaded with bhava, is welcome and received by Bhagwan or even these departed souls. When we do charity in the name of a departed soul, the same intelligence, this feeling, this bhav is conveyed to that soul through this plane of consciousness. Our pitris, your, your didi is now a pitri. This pitri receives now what we give here because we transmit it with intelligence, with bhav, with love. And the great selfless act of sacrifice in the name of the departed soul will give wonders to that soul. This next bhajan, it says, we have come into this world alone and similarly, we shall leave alone and on careful thinking, we find that life is a transient and nothing is but a far. You have decorated mahals for many people by your kindness and you have undergone tremendous suffering but in return, all, all you receive is selfishness. Aye bhi akela Jaye bhi akela Do din ki zindagi hai Do din ka mela Bolo Aye bhi akela Jaye bhi akela Do din ki zindagi hai Do din ka mela सजाए मतलब की यार सारी सभी है पराए जिनके लिए है तूने महल सजाए मतलब की यार सारी सभी है पराए इनके लिए है कितना तूने दुख झे Kya tujh 
को करना नेकी कर्म है करने दुनिया से डरना पाप की अघन में खुद को आहे दुख धकेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला बोलो आए भी अकेला आए भी अकेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला ये जिंदगी है प्यारे एक झूठ सपना गैरों की दुनिया में नहीं कोई अपना ये जिंदगी है प्यारे एक झूठ सपना गैरों की दुनिया में नहीं कोई अपना सब के रहते हुए मैं हूँ एक अकेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मैं प्रेम से बोलो आए भी अकेला जाए भी अकेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला दो दिन की जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला प्रेम से बोलवा के वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय डिवोटीज the eighth chapter of the bhagavad gita deals with the subject of life after death the puranas the upanishads even the yoga vashishta and the bhagavad gita contain many varieties of descriptions of the condition of the soul after it leaves the body the puranas especially they go into detailed description of the condition in which the soul finds itself particularly if it has not done any merit or if the merit it has done is so negligible that the wrongs it has committed outweighs the good or they are on equal footing i want you to listen to this part of the katha very carefully in the garud puran now and other scriptures even in the bhagavata if you read what transpires to the soul after it leaves the body it becomes very frightening when the soul departs from the body in the case of these lower unpurified and negligible religious souls meaning that if you have done very little religious activities no matter what your religion is if in fact you are one of these it is taken away by the messengers of yama who is yama yamraj and it is placed before the lord of death for judgment now let me speak about judgment for a second we have judges of the courts we have magistrates and up to all the way up to the supreme courts they they, they are called judges but in this world devotees every single one of us is a judge we are quick to pass judgment on each other on fellow human beings the minute we hear something even not finding the facts we pass judgment we are we are absolutely not unqualified as human beings per our scriptures to pass judgment on anything or anyone what happens when we pass judgment we bring on to ourselves pap and punya even the thought of a negative thing negative thought of someone passing judgment If for example I tell I say to Shiva tonight boy you know your sound system it needs a little work that is passing judgment on him that is I am taking on pap and punya we don't want to do that devotees garu puran tells us yamraj when that soul is taken away now and placed in front of the god of judgment it is said that yama asked the soul what have you done what have you done it will say the soul will say i don't know Garud Puran, I quote: "The shock of separation from the body when the soul leaves the body removes all the memory. It removes all of your memory. It's like you're wiping out a hard drive on a computer. All the data is gone, and it cannot remember what it has done in the past, previous life." Garud Puran tells us again: "It is said that a hot rod called a yam danda, danda is a stick, but this rod is a hot rod. Yam danda is kept on the head now." of the soul and immediately once that yam danda is placed on the head it remembers the entire past now it knows every details of the actions that it did both good and bad the soul says now as the yam danda is here i have done very little good this is an example only but i've also made many mistakes and performed so many erroneous actions i have hurt so many yamrajan says what do you have to say about it now the soul replies Hold on Yamraj ji I have got relatives they will ex- they will expiate this you know expiate this for me how they will conduct yagnas and charities and worship and sankirtan naam smaran like we are doing tonight 
bhajans, meditation in my name, and soon I shall be free from all of these consequences of sin that I have committed or the mistakes that I would have made. Go then, says Yamraj, and see what they will do. What does the soul do now? The soul has left the body. This is your, to your question, Didi. The soul has left the body. Where does the soul go? After the 13th day, the soul is dealing with Yamraj. And Yamraj says, now go back now and wait. Wait for what? We'll, we'll soon find out. Apparently, according to scriptures, it takes 10 days for the soul to be brought back. So some ceremony is usually done. What, what ceremony do we do on the 10th day? Shaving, right? We call it the shaving. That's Gahat is called. And... While this 10th ce day ceremony is done, some people do 11, 12, even 13 days for Bhandara. Right? This is right after the, 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 the funeral, that is. The soul now hovers around, observing what the relatives are doing, what we are doing tonight. That soul is hovering around. And Yamraj messengers stand behind now like a policeman to see what is being done. So you see the value of doing satsang and doing all of these rituals after someone passes? It has merit. It helps that soul to move on. I'm quoting tonight from the Garud Puran. If one of the ceremonies is done in the name of the soul, such as Bhagavat Saptaham, which is what we call Bandara, uh, uh, we call it the Gita part, Rudra Yagya, Narayana Bali or the Vishnu Yagya, and all sorts of charities are done, and all those things were done in the name of the soul, given gifts and so forth, the effects of these good deeds are credited to the account of that departed soul. And it is exonerated now to that extent. So you see how these things, this, when people say, okay, we'll chant, we'll sing, we'll have Ramayana after or, or satsang after someone passes, that benefits the soul. Not only does it help the loved ones, the, you know, the, the bereaved families, but it also helps that soul. Devotees, suppose this is not done now, like in modern day boys as we say, scriptures tells us the relatives now perhaps do not believe in these observances, now again I'm not criticizing or condemning anyone this is directly from our scriptures it says, it, if our father has died let it go, that's all, we won't bother about it, and there's no charity, no goodwill, and behave as nothing has ever happened or even something has happened after the death because they think that there's no life after death, you see devotees in this case, that soul is dragged back to come back into this world to go through this Pap and Punya again, to go through this cycle. When the policemen know that someone is, is a crook, right, and, and that is confirmed, they will deal a severe blow. They will deal with that crook very severely. They will treat a convicted criminal a lot worse than they will, they will treat someone who is a law-abiding citizen. If they know that he's going to be released pretty soon, nothing is going to happen to them, they won't bother too much about him. But if his relatives have done nothing, it is certain that he is going to be punished. So for one year, they drag the soul to the king, kingdom of the Lord of Death, who is Yamraj. So for one year, that soul will be all around. People say sometimes, you know, Baba, I keep dreaming. I feel like my, my departed loved one is like next to me. I don't know. I have not experienced this yet. But some people, it could be imagination, could be the real thing. Devotees, after one year, on the 11th month actually, normally it's done on a, uh, on a new moon, a new moon day, that final one year shroud needs to be performed for the soul to return now to the abode of Yama. It goes back to Yamraj. And if the soul has merited now from that one year, one year, what, what transpired in that year? The family did shroud, they did satsang, they made offerings, they gave dan, they gave charity. That soul now will be in a better position not to negotiate, but to receive any sort of punishment or receive the instructions from Yamraj as to go now to the next step. Where should I go next? Do I go to one of the seven lok or we go to the Tals, Dang Lok, Papata Lok? No pun intended, by. <laughs> if the soul has no merit at all, it will be sent to the land of punishment and wherever that punishment may be. In the Srimad Bhagavat Mahapuran, the Garud Puran, the type of punishment and the difficulties that the soul has to undergo are described in such gory language that we would not, not even like to be born back in this world again. It becomes very scary, devotees. We're not going to go there tonight. When the soul now is expunged of all its sins and suffering in the prison of Yam, Yamraj, it is then released. It is said that it is sent to Rudra Lok. Where is Rudra Lok? Lord Shiva's Lok. And it will not be allowed to leave. Isn't this the place we all want to go? Go to Shiva Lok and don't ever come back here. Don't even worry about this mundane planet. And how do we get there? 
to release the soul from Lord Rudra's clutches, a Rudra Yagna has to be done. Then it is sent to, once that is done, it is sent to Vaikuntlo, the abode of Lord Vishnu, Chir Sagar. Here, after many, many years, the soul now attains moksha. So moksha is not something in instantaneous. It has to go through Rudra Lok and then to Vishnu Lok. Devotees, after many, many years now, after the soul has, be, has attained moksha, this is how even a bad person can become purified in a painful way and finally attains bliss. If the soul, though, has tremendous attachments to relations and to wealth, that soul will be reborn in this world. I'll give you an example. Many times as a pundit, we get called to the ICU ward, folks that are just about ready to breathe their last breath. And sometimes you ask them to chant the name of God, any form of God. And what they're asking the pundit, listen carefully. Baba, make sure that they, they, they divide the land properly. Make sure they share what's in the bank account. Make sure he don't get more, she don't take less. These are the things when you're asking someone in their final breath to chant the name of God. This is what, and this is why devotees will come back. They will come back now to deal with that in some form. You know, this is what the effect of attachments is. And when we reach a stage in life where nothing else in this world matters but God. When you reach to the stage in life where you can say, God, if you're ready for me, now I'm ready to come home. Take me. That is releasing all the attachments of this mundane world. Because this is all superficial. This body will die and go. What is important is our karmic actions. What we do, what we think. Man, kram, bachan, say our thoughts, our words, and of course our deeds. Devotees, finally each night, the Bhagavad Gita describes a more glorious path to the higher realms. Those who are not spiritually awakened but have done good deeds, they reach a lower kingdom called Chandralok. What is Chandralok? The kingdom of the moon. The realm of the moon. Where they will stay invisibly and enjoy the fruit of their good deeds. But when the momentum of their good deeds, all their charity, is exhausted, they will come back to this world. But if a person is spiritually awakened and is not merely a good man, not merely a charitable or philanthropic uh, person, that path is different. These two paths are called the northern path and the southern path. Our scriptures tells us, Bhagavad Gita, I quote, chapter 8, verse 23. Prince of Ulvaka Bindavan Bihari Lale Ki Jai Yatra Kale Tvavan Ritim Atrevam Chaiva Yogi Naha Prayata Yanti Tam Kalam Vaksyami Bharata Sabha Prince of Ulvaka Bindavan Bihari Lale Ki Jai Bhagavan Sri Krishna says to Arjuna I shall tell you now about the path treading which one returns and the path treading which one does not return. We want the one that does not return. These two paths, he says, I shall describe to you. Uttar Maga or Jyotir Maga. He says, Anadakshina Marga or Dhuma Maga, as they are called. Agnir Jyotir Ahasukla, Samasa Uttaryam, Tatra Prayata Gachanti, Brahma Brahma Vidyo Janaha. Everything is filled with light, everything is filled with divinity. And everything is superintended over by divinity. The fire of cremation, that is Agni, the physical fire, which has its own divinity. Agni assumes a divine form in case a person who is to rise up to the celestial realms. Then there's a divinity superintending over the daytime in contrast with the night. If a person passes away during the daytime and during the bright half of the lunar moon, remember, the month has the first half, the bright half, and the dark half of the moon. So if a person passes away during the daytime and during the bright half of the lunar month and during the northern movement of the sun, right now the sun is, sun is south or not? It's south. It'll move, move back north in um, uh, Makar Sankranti. It'll come back up north. So it's right now, it's in, it's, the sun is actually to the north. It'll start going south in Makar Sankranti. The northern movement of the sun, he shall reach what's called the Surya Lok. Devotees, from there, he'll be taken up further. So you see, the, the soul transgresses all of these loka, lokas to get to Rudra Loka and then eventually to Vishnu Loka. The Upanishads describe more stages than the ones mentioned here. It says, 
up to the solar orb, even a little beyond, is called the realm of lightning. And that is beyond the sun. The lightning of Brahmalok flashes forth. Brahmalok devotees is, in fact, the goal. It is said, Brahmalok until Brahma himself is dissolved or till the end of time, if our soul is lucky to reach there, we will be at the, at the hands of Brahma at the end of a hundred years of life and until the absolute Brahman is reached. That is our goal. Let us maximize every second of our remaining time on this planet to practice what's called Namasmaran, what we have been doing tonight. Chanting the name of God, not the name of other human beings and on good or bad terms. That has absolutely no merit. Remember to help ever and hurt never. In the words of our Bhagwan, Sri Satya Sai Baba, the Lord seeks devotees love. That's all he wants from us, the love. Call him by any name. All God is interested in is our love. And people have to lead lives based on the recognition of this truth. There's only one thing God seeks from all of us. Fill our hearts with love and then offer that love to God. It is enough, Swami says, for you to develop love and share it with others. It is only when you are happy that you can make others happy. And what is happiness? Happiness is the union with God. That is true happiness. Somebody last night won the $1.2 billion, I think, in Illinois. It wasn't me. I, I bought tickets. It's definitely not me. But is that happiness? You know, if the only happiness you have in this life is wealth, you're the poorest person in this world. If the only happiness you have in this life is wealth, you're the poorest person in this world. By chanting the name of God, well, you call him Rama, Krishna, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, whatever name, chant it from your heart and chant it with love. When you chant the name of God, nothing, tune everything and everyone else out. Only chant the name of Bhagwan. God and all sacred acts, like worshipping, like job, meditation, yoga even, use this for sanctifying our times. But you know, these are not the ends themselves. They are all tying or tangled with worldliness. But what is needed is positive action dedicated to the divine then we can all come free from diseases only by having pure thoughts can you be hale and hearty have no ill will towards anybody and love and faith begets peace and bliss we all deserve to enjoy peace and bliss but does not make it necessary we don't make the necessary effort sorry to get peace and bliss if we cultivate love and faith we will then acquire peace and bliss the melody that flows from the devotee's heart will confer this bliss. My dear brothers and sisters, Nam Smaran, as we close on this note this evening, chanting the name of Bhagwan. There's a beautiful chant. All of you know it very well. We used to chant this bhajan in primary school back in Trinidad. Very simple. Ram Krishna Hare Mukunda Murari Panduranga, Panduranga, Rama Krishna Hare. Let us blend our voices and sing. Rama Krishna Hare, Mokunda Murari.
Turn to me, my love, calling out to you are my songs. My music is lying deserted. My songs are calling out to you. The sky is raining, so are my eyes. I am pining for you. Come to me. The cool breeze is making me burn. Darling, please show your face. Your promises of love you kept very well. My songs are calling out to you. Laughter at one moment, crying at another. What kind of a game is this? Meeting at one moment, separating at another. This world is but a far two days. Let us not let this moment pass. My songs are calling out to you. Lot Kaya Lot Kaya Lot Kaya लौट के आजा मेरे मी लौट के आजा मेरे मी 
तुझे मेरी भुलाते हैं लौट के आजा मेरे भी तुझे मेरे भी बुलाते हैं मेरा सुना पर रे संगी मेरा सुना पर रे संगीत तुझे मेरे भी बुलाते हैं लौट के आजा मेरे भी सजन अब तो मुखरा दिखा जा तूने भली रे निभाई पी तूने भली रे निभाई पी तुझे मेरे गी बोलाते हैं मेरा सोना पर रे संगी मेरा सोना पर रे संगीत तुझे मेरे गी बुलाते हैं आलोक के आजा मेरे भी एक पल है हंसना एक पल है रोना कैसा है जीवन का खेला एक पल है मिल पल भी झरना दुनिया है दो दिन का मेला ये घड़ी न जाएगी ये घड़ी न जाएगी तुझे मेरे गी बुलाते हैं आ लौट के आजा मेरे मी तुझे मेरे गी बुलाते हैं मेरा सुना पर रे संगीत मेरा सुना पर रे संगीत तुझे मेरे गी बुलाते हैं आ लौट के आजा मेरे भी प्रेम से बोलो भगवान रामचंद्र की जय Continue with some beautiful bhajans, and then uh, we do a few words at the end. Right? We have some time, right? About two. Yes, absolutely. Krishna Kanhaiya, Krishna Kanhaiya, Ar Par Karenge Naiya Re, O Bhaju Krishna Kanhaiya. Ar Par Karenge Naiya Re, Bhaju Krishna Kanhaiya.
That's the voice of our own Auntie Mala Samaru of South Florida. For those of you joining us online, Malaji, lots of hands, lots of hearts for your beautiful bhajans. We say thank you to all of you for joining and sharing this evening. We turn now over to Arti Kasi, who will give us a bhajan or two, and then, of course, we'll have Rashti Ji. Please. Prem Sabalabaki Vindavan, Bihari Lal Ki Jai.
प्रेम से बोलो जगदम्बे भवानी शंकर माता की जय वी कंटिन्यू विद भजन
गुरु जगदम में भवानी शंकर माता की जय बोलो शिव शिव शंभो बम 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 बोलो शिव शिव शंभो बम बम बोलो शिव शिव this after this okay okay well you can prepare in the meantime <laughs>
Ramachandra Ramachandraki Jai. My dear brothers and sisters, we have now come to the final few minutes of our satsang. I know we, we were out a little bit late start this evening, but let me thank this evening. Starting from my right on the uh, sound system and keyboards this evening, our dear brother Shiva Samlal Singh. And of course, on Dholak this evening, one of the Tals, <laughs> my dear brother Sital Ram Narayan, wonderful Dholak player indeed. And of course, Didi, we call her the Chutney Queen of South Florida. No Chutney tonight, only Bhajans, Mala Samaruji. And of course, my dear brother Bob in the back joining us this evening, Sita Ramji, uh, Vini, Vinayaka, Kasi, wonderful upcoming uh, drummer. And uh, of course, uh, the matriarch of the family. Srimati Vashti Kasi and uh, Farooq? Farooq? Okay, Farooq. And of course, uh, our Didi Suzanji, as she is seated here this evening. Uh, she's our, our hostess. We'll speak to the host in a few minutes. My dear brother, a very dedicated soul and has uh, been in this community, serving this community selflessly with his family for many years. Sri Hai Ramesh Kasi. And of course, you've heard the voice, the beautiful voice of his daughter. Arti Kasi G as well. Uh, my dear friends, let's give this group a lovely round of applause. Eh? Come on. Before we, um, before we listen to uh, some words of wisdom by our dear brother, Father Johnson. There's a Bollywood song. I prom did promise he will sing a little Bollywood song. As I think it's appropriate. And from Susan, Didi Susan, it says, don't separate the love of our childhood from your heart. When you remember me, just pray that we meet up one day. You're making the house of my hopes very, very lonely. You're stealing the world of my love. Give me the medicine for the sorrows that you have given me. I'll steal the songs from the birds in the monsoon season, and I'll sing all of my requests to you. You'll hold on to your heart when you listen to my voice, this beautiful song, very meaningful by Lata Mangeshkar. दिल से न जुदा करना बचपन की मोहब्बत को दिल से न जुदा करना जब याद मेरी मिलने के दुआ करना बचपन की मोहब्बत को दिल से न जुदा करना जब याद मेरी आई मिलने के दुआ करना
जब याद मेरी आई मिलने के दुआ करना डोंट सेपरेट द लव ऑफ आवर चाइल्डहुड फ्रॉम आवर हार्ट्स एंड व्हेन यू रिमेंबर रिमेंबर दैट वन डे वी विल मीट अप विदी आवर डीपेस्ट कंडोलेंसेस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दिस एंटायर ग्रुप टू यू एंड योर फैमिली इन प्लानिंग द सत्संग आई नो यू रीच आउट टू मी सेवरल टाइम्स एंड वी वर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड अ डेट दैट विल वर्क वेल एज आई सेड यू नो ऑलवेज से नथिंग हैपेंस नॉट इवन अ ब्लेड ऑफ ग्रास विल मूव विदाउट द विल ऑफ भगवान and everyone that is seated here this evening had to be here because he will it so and uh, it is i am humbled by your invitation as always i know we are always welcome at your home and uh, if there's ever a time that you feel like you you know you as we say you lost it you down and out you really really missing her call upon pavana putta hanuman ji as you know very well we've discussed this many times sing the shri hanuman chalisa and with that i thank all of you for giving us your divine or devoted attention and i know we kept you back a little bit i actually we kept you back very late this evening but it's saturday night nobody is working tomorrow except brother has to go to church i think in the morning at 8 o'clock um those of you joining us online as well thank you for for your uh, your uh, your patience and certainly i hope you you have enjoyed this evening's uh, broadcast as much as we have uh, enjoyed bringing it to you and uh, if brother is ready we can uh, we can ask him to come to the microphone you want to give him that microphone to use um Let's give a nice round of applause for Father Johnson. Thank you, Pundit Neil and his group. It made the it made the night memorable. Um, Brother Neil, you'll appreciate this saying. No matter when you're down, or you're up in the sky, or your head is in the clouds in the sky god is good today tomorrow and every day mm-hmm. can i get an amen on that amen and um again my brother neil and his group thank you for coming to our home and saying the prayers that were needed for my wifey and for everybody who attended thank you wholeheartedly it meant a lot to her and me too thank you Thank you very much. And um it I'll be remiss if I don't ask my brother Ramesh ji to give a few words of wisdom as well. Ramesh ji before we close. Chitram do it is. You know Pandit ji you you made a statement that um all of us that were destined to be here today had to be and uh it hit me straight to my heart you know. because originally when you called i told you that i could not come because of a prior engagement and you know you know what dharam word is honor so i had given my word but it so happened that uh the engagement that i had earlier on got cancelled because of uh, circumstances beyond everybody's control so we were able to make ourselves available um and we especially our group here uh, i know we listen to you all over canada all over the us texas um 
Yeah, wherever you are, we are, we are always listening to you. But there's something special when, um, when you sit with us here and uh, there's a special bhav that yeah, you, you share with us. And uh, I would like to thank you on behalf of all of us in Florida for, for always coming and, 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 and doing that and making that uh, very uh, emotional, uh, divine atmosphere feel so uh, welcoming to every one of us. Um, Susan, uh, you know the relationship we have. It's gone way, way back. You know the relationship she has. I'm happy to see Lachmi here. I haven't seen her in so many years. Um, and we know how special uh, Leela was to all of us. Um, Pandaji said it all. You know, what else can you say when, when somebody has done everything and you are doing as prescribed by scriptures, doing everything for that soul. Um, so under his guidance, uh, you're in good hands. Uh, Panaji, again, thank you so much, so much thank you, uh, for, for being in our community and giving as you give. And uh, it's always a pleasure to sit and do satsang with you. Sit down. Jai Shri Ram. I believe uh, we have one more film song um, requested by Malaji. But before we, before we do that, uh, we also have Arti as well at the end. Right? So we'll keep you back for a few more minutes. But Bhaiji, Ramishji, thank you for those words of wisdom and kindness. And uh, let me tell you all, I miss you all very much. Wherever I travel, I, I always have different musicians, singers, instruments even, because we can't travel with, with harmonium. So it, it always is a challenge. And don't, I, I wouldn't even go to sound system. I hope them boys not listening to me. But uh, <laughs> I wish I can, we can all go. And I was, I was in Houston last week, and I drove by this big building. Um, what's the pastor name who preaches from Houston, brother? Um, what's his name? Big Church? No, the other one. Austin, yes. So he, yes, he has the, this big, um, Joel, he has this big ministry. So I drove by, and it's like, my God, this is downtown. One day I will have one of these, you know, but even more so, we need a, we need a, a private jet. So that wherever we travel for such we can all go and we can all be together. But Susan, you've, you've done this and uh, I can't tell you, I can't express my gratitude to you for allowing us to come into your home. And so good to see so many familiar faces once again. Um, for those of you listening online and those of you here, if you have any relatives in New York City, next weekend, Malaji and I will be at the Sudama Mandir in Queens um, for a three session Ramayan Yagya um, starting Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so it's on 101-51-115th Street in Queens, New York. So um, JetBlue still has flights, so if you guys want to join us, <laughs> you can join us up there next weekend. So with that said, before we go to RT, we'll have one more bhajan, uh, song by Malaji, and then we'll, we'll do RT. Thank you for your... your so you just want to say a few words? Very good. All right. All these? Okay. Uh, which... This is a beautiful love song for you, darling. Enjoy. Oh. 
who are seated and not uh, singing would like you to please stand for this uh, final arti this evening we'll join a blend of voices as we sing and chant the beautiful arti of bhagwan shri krishna soft light to wail soft light to wail hari hyum sajan chavarchi samyuktam vahina yojitam maya deepam grahana devash trailukyam timirapaham yani kani ch papani janmay antarkitani cha tani tani vinashanti pradakshanam pade pade aarati कुंज बिहारी की श्री गिरिधर कृष्ण मुरारी की आरती कुंज बिहारी की श्री गिरिधर कृष्ण मुरारी की
To sing, to chant, to glorify, to purify our minds, our bodies, our souls with pure thoughts, to learn to love all and serve all selflessly. As Baba says, we start our day with love, we fill our day with love, we live this day with love, and we end the day with love. Love, when divided, multiplies exponentially. Tameva Mata. Chapita Tameva Tameva Bandhus Chakha Tameva Tameva Vidya Dravinam Tameva Tameva Sarvam Mamadeva Deva Asito ma sat gamaya Tamaso ma jyotir gamaya Mrityur ma amritam gamaya From on truth, lead us on to truth from darkness Lead us on to light and from death Lead us on to eternity Paramam pavetram Baba Vibhutim Paramam Vichitram Leela Vibhutim Paramatma Ishtar Moksha Pradhatam Baba Vibhutim Idam Aslayami Paramam Pavitram Baba Vibhutim Paramam Vichitram Leela Vibhutim Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantu Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantu Samastha Loka Sukhino Bhavantu Gajananam Saraswati Shiva Chatur Bhujam Namami Yum Sharanyanam Namami Te Karut Jobhi Kanchanam Sadaiva Mangalam Kuru Gaya Prayagane Mishar Kusastani Chamathura Hari Purishya Kaunsile Sikasi Durgarastutha Karut Jobhi Kanchanam Sadaiva Mangalam Kuru Matya Kurumabamanam Narsingaru Parahari 
व्यासस्त राम कृष्णयो कलंक बोध वस्तु था करोत जो भी कंचनम सदैव मंगलम कुरु शिव हरे शिव राम सके प्रभु त्रिविदुताप निवारण हे विभु अज जनेश्वर यादव पाही मा शिव हरे विजयम कुरु मे बलम प्रतिदिनम कुशलम जय मंगलम प्रतिदिनम कुशलम जय मंगलम प्रतिदिनम कुशलम जय मंगलम ओ मंगलम भगवान विष्णु मंगलम गरुरज मंगलम पुंदरी काक्ष मंगलाय तनु हरि ओ शांति ओ शांति ओ शांति ओ ओ शांति ओ ओ शांति ओ ओ शांति ओ प्रेम से बोलो गजानन स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय प्रभु राम चंद्र भगवान की जय बाकी बिंद्रावन बिहारी लाल की जय पवन पुत्र हनुमान की देवी भवानी शंकर माता की जय नमो पार्वते पतये हर 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 महादेव जय जय सीता राम सब कोई थैंक यू गॉड ब्लेस यू एंड यू मे टेक योर सीट्स एंड दीदी वी विल carry on from here for your directions definitely koti koti dhanyawad you all can take your seats get comfy and to those of you who have stayed with us uh, we are even past 10 o'clock now thank you very much for joining us from all over the world this evening and uh, we will see you on maybe tuesday night tuesday night is nag panchmi so we'll figure out something for tuesday night those of you who join online and to the shivoham family we say to you sita ram namaste om namah shivaya meri blessings of bhagwan shiva be upon one and all have a beautiful weekend and thank you god bless you jai shri ram <laughs>